Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 talk, where I'll be showing you the new Field Service Dynamics 365 mobile app. But before we get into that, let me just go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Dion Taylor. I'm a Microsoft Business Applications MVP. Feel free to check out my blog at d365goddess.com. Follow me on Twitter at d365goddess or connect with me on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code on the screen. Now, before you can start using that field service Dynamics V65 app that just came out, uh, there's a couple of prerequisites that you have to think about. So you need to be on version 8.8.22 and up. You also need to make sure that um, you actually have security roles related to that new field service app and then obviously you also need to have that user that you're going to log in with you need to make sure that that person is actually also a resource resource in field service and then you need to also assign that security role to that particular resource as well all right so let's take a look real quick so here we're on the docs.microsoft.com site and you can see here some of those prerequisites, right? Like we said, you need to be in version 8.8.22 and up. And if I scroll down here, it's telling you a little bit about, right? Having to assign that security role um, as well. And then we also said, right, you need to create a bookable resource related to your user ID so that you can actually um, take a look at that. And then of course you need to have a work order scheduled to that bookable resource as well. And then if you scroll back up to this page, you can see some additional information in regards to some feature comparison with the new app, the Field Service Dynamics 365 app, versus the current Field Service mobile application that's built on that RESCO platform. And then you can kind of see, right, we can do a lot more in the current Field Service mobile app, but obviously this is just coming out, right? This Field Service Dynamics 365 app. Let me make sure scroll down here a little bit as well. So you can see here that Microsoft is recommending to continue using the existing field service mobile app for current and new deployments of field service and development of this new app continues through 2021. And obviously those capabilities will become comparable to field service mobile, right? Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is another doc site where you can see what the latest version is and then when are some of the versions becoming available to your particular area. So you can kind of see that in here, the different stations and then those current ver ver versions, the next version and the scheduled dates. Now, once you are on that version that you need to be, then you can actually navigate to my apps and you can see here that the field service mobile app is now available for me. So the first thing you want to do is kind of check the roles. So you can just go ahead and right. You can see here that I actually checked that box. If there's other roles that you want to assign this app to, then you can do that just like that. So once you've done that, then you still need to go into let me actually here go into field service and you want to make sure that your resources, particularly the one that you're going to log in with, has the same security role, right? That we just looked at. So I'm going to go to the user record. have access to it from here so we could even go to advanced settings just do that go to security users and manage roles and as you can see I have the field service resource role here as well so I should be good to go and once you're ready you can either go to Google Play and then you can download the field service Dynamics 365 app, or you can just go ahead to the app store uh, from Apple and you can download the field service mobile application from there as well. 
So once you've done that, you can sign into the Dynamics V65 Field Service Mobile app. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to log into this new app that I downloaded onto my phone and I wanted to compare that with the existing Dynamics 365 app. So I have both apps and both of them are logged into that field service app. And I wanted to kind of show you the difference. The first thing that I noticed was really that a lot of these buttons have now been moved to the bottom, right? We have, as you can see, show chart, new, delete, all of that on the quote unquote old or native uh, Dynamics 365 app, we see them on the top and in the new field service app, we now see those on the bottom. So I can go ahead and click here on show chart, right? Now we can view that chart and I can just click on that again to remove that. Again, I can also click here on the different, uh, the different times that we see here per month right or I can look at a daily view or a weekly view and when I do that here right if I can click on day here I can click, click on month here we see that it looks very similar to the new app as well now let's take a look at the booking so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and open that I'm gonna do the same thing here in my Dynamics 365 app so I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down and kind of show you that this looks very, very similar, right? We can just see that the end time, the end date and time is here configured a little bit differently. We can see here the end uh, actual arrival time, end time, etc., is now the data is below those fields, right? I can click here on customer. I can click here on customer as well. If I scroll down here, we can see that we have that map, which we also have here on the new field service app as well. And I can scroll down a bit further. Then let's go to service and let's go to field ser service here as well. So you can kind of see that it looks again, very, very similar, right? Let's go ahead and open one of those service tasks on both sides. And then again, it looks very, very similar, right? Again, the configuration looks a little bit different. The values are again underneath that field and here it's next to the field, right? We can also see that progress is exactly the same as we have over here. And if I scroll down a little bit further, we also have our timeline here. And if I scroll back up, I can see that that's here in a separate tab um, that I can access it from directly from within here. And then I can just obviously write save and close, which is here on the top, my save and my save and close button. And I can get out of that by just clicking that arrow over there or here going to go ahead and get out of there so very similar let's also take a look at products real quick again you can see that is very very similar right you can see here our warehouses next to one another our units etc where it refers back to right and then again if I scroll back up we have some estimate information just like we have over here as well. So for now, it looks very similar, right? Both applications. I'm going to here click discard. Yeah, we want to do and discard changes. So again, it looks very, very similar to what we're used to. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the back button here. It also said if you can click and home click and hold that, it takes you back to that home button. So you saw that I just clicked on that and it took me right back. Now, another thing that I lastly want to show you is if you actually click on the little hamburger menu over here. So let's just go ahead and do that. You can see here that it says uh, it has uh, an apps. It says next to the home button, it says apps and it has next to the word apps, it has a little arrow next to it. So I'm going to click on that. So then again, you see that drop down with apps and non production apps. So, my guess is this is the regular field service mobile production app. But if I wanted to also test this in my non production, I can do that as well. Now, again, I don't have, as you can see, any non production apps here. But if you do, or if they're not showing up, what you can do is you can just pull this down here. And this is a iOS, so I can just go ahead and pull that down. And then, boop, 
that will start to refresh in uh, on my mobile application. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button. Be sure to check back again next week for another video and in the meantime enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.